All right, so ladies and gentlemen, if there is something I should, definitely is, I should point to some people that were inside Azri's room, uh, bothered with the cleaning issues. Yes, prior to uh, Illuminati's arrival, there were people, as I stated, have cleaned the room. And that's one thing. And the who precisely knew about issues I have spoken about on my video. You know, entire world did. Entire world did. Let's go to the practical part of few people I'm going to point you out that were inside of this room, that were completely familiarized, not only with the cleanliness issues, but literally with psychiatry involved against me through the cleanliness issues. This here is a perfect, perfect, perfect couple. Perfect couple. I found a perfect example for you right there. That's one girl that had a private cleaning company with her husband from South Africa. The two met literally through this case. I was very much into South Africa. And that's how he came to the United States of America. They built a life together, but this girl was involved. Her parents, her brother, way before this girl even got involved in a case. So this is a very, very high profile MK Ultra profile. It goes probably through the parents. Maybe I have no idea, maybe 98, 1998 even. Very, very, before this girl even grew up. Okay, had a private company. It says here, Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, this here, this here, this is interesting, very interesting case, very, very highly desired by Vladimir Putin, because he's a Russian from St. Petersburg, who immigrated to Las Vegas, Nevada, have built her entire life through my case. Everything. Uh, these girls would come and they would do the cleaning. Even with, uh, let's go back here, even with her husband, they would do cleaning. They would do a thorough cleaning before the Illuminati is, what I mean, complete disinf disinfection. Crazy shit went on inside here. Before the Illuminatis would lay down their plans in front of the computer here, seal the deals and stuff like this behind the curtain. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, with her husband. Here I'm giving you a practical examples about who was inside of this house, not inside of this city or in Slovenia, where Melania Trump is from, 20 miles from here. No, 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 no. I'm talking to you about this room here, not only even about this house or whatever. These are the girls I'm pointing out. These are a few examples I'm giving you. Like who exactly knew about this stuff? <laughs> well, um, everybody did. Germans told me, uh, I managed, I managed uh, 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 to clean the table. There was only one table here inside, that old table. I managed to clean the table. And Germans were encouraging me. They were encouraging to clean the, the, the stuff, you know. It didn't have nothing to do with my cleaning. Now you understand what this shit was all about. Uh, but still, they were trying to encourage me to be positive and go about it and somehow do it. And it doesn't matter if it takes you five hours or whatever. And the guy went one hour, two hours. I managed in three hours. I did five hours, but I did. I, I did. I finally did. And it was like, yeah, whatever. Here, this uh, individual is from United States of America. And I really couldn't find more perfect example uh, than this well, this this man was involved maybe since 1995, this U.S. Marine here that you see. This was maybe even one of the first military staff people. A, I, it was a, so many military, American, U.S. Marines, uh, all kinds of people from all kinds of military backgrounds that were involved in this. French Foreign Legion was involved deeply in this case. There's a nice little cute man right there. 
he did something very, very special for me. The guy that you have seen there was the U.S. Marine, got very, very upset with me. But this guy here that you see, not so much. He wanted, despite everything, to help me out somehow, some way. He understood a little bit more. He understood a little bit better about what the fuck went on. Uh, so, really, the guy was trying to do everything possible. He looks like this, like freaky and this and that. Um, but the thing about it is, I, I wasn't going to... Uh, click that stuff but this is this is a really good guy okay this is this is a very very good guy uh, I'm not sure this is uh, let me see here okay so let's go here if I'm lucky enough to get to his profile somehow this guy was very wise he always has some kind of a weird clothing and stuff like this, but this was one of the nicest people involved in MK Ultra. Uh, it was quite an evil circle, but this guy, thanks to this guy, I somehow made it through. Literally. I know that it looks crazy, but it was exactly this guy that was really, really nice. He probably had to act this way. This here, did you see this? dinner table and stuff like this this is repeated it's not the first time they had this stuff so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to his profile because I think that this is it I think I found one I think now finally I'm gonna get so I did found one I found one, I did, I found one, there you go. And so, we're gonna go here. And this man was so good. Eventually, he went ahead. Shit, I don't have a good profile. have a difficulty seeing the profiles for one thing this guy was so good that he went ahead and did something very very special for me he literally created a video so that when I would come across his profile um, Jeez, lady, come on. Uh, okay, thanks, God. Alright, so here's the guy. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but trust me, this was one of the nicest people. Kind people. This is actually a very, very warm, hardworking... Uh, I, I know, I know, I know what you're going to say. Wh say whatever you want, think whatever you want. But this guy was, this is a, really is a sweetheart. I know, I know, I know. But in this case, really, it's not exactly what, what it appears to be. Okay, it's not. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But this was one of the nicest, sweetest people. And he's a very, very decent person, by the way. You know what? He did this for me here too. That's like Swedish. <laughs> you know what this is? This is his garage. You know what the man did? He video recorded so that I would recall to clean my place. This is the guy not only was inside of his room, but this is the guy who was bitching me all the time to clean the room. And what you see here have video recorded for the purposes of my recalling, reminding myself to clean the place like, so that it, it can be totally, totally cleaned. So you want the perfect example of it, of the person who was involved in it? The US Marine that you have seen earlier was involved since 1995. There you go. That's your perfect example. <laughs> If this guy knew about the psychiatrist, about the Colonial Police, about what the fuck going on here inside, yes he did. If 
Illuminati e Sogar e Illumina. So, who knew it? People from all over the world, even from international people I have done this thing, right? So that's what you wanted to see. You wanted to see some hands-on fact machine. There you have names, there you have people, there you have even example of what the guy insisted in your life to do to survive it. And he was encouraging me, like Germans, like everybody, he just do it, just do it, just do it, it doesn't matter how long it takes, and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is just like I'm giving you like a perfect, perfect... I'm giving you this stuff with the names. How many people was involved in this stuff? God knows how many people. Okay? I have no idea how many people were involved in this stuff. Many, many, many people. Okay? So these are actual names of few people that were literally specialized into cleaning of this room. Was the guy that you have seen cleaning this room? Hardly. I don't think he was. They even had some kind of, uh, I'm not going to say contest. They, they, they were not contesting, but literally they would come uh, one day earlier, even than Illuminatis, and they would start the cleaning. First who came were the cleaners. That was the first. The first they did was they cleaned the room. Uh, once they cleaned the room, completely cleaned the room the way the Illuminatis wanted to, to have the settings for them, they proceeded to disinfect one using terrible chemicals. The chemicals were really, really fucking terrible to the degree that they had to leave the fucking room. Once they poisoned the fucking room, disinfected everything, they would go out there... Uh, on the yard, in front of the house, and in the city, and back and forth, and would leave the room uh, for disinfection purposes. They would take me out for several hours, you know, five, six, seven, eight hours, whatever it would be. And then they would return, and then they would complete the job. They would air the room and all kinds of stuff, so the chemicals would go out. So it would be... Vladimir Putin was a paranoid in respect to uh, mold, bacteria, and all kinds of stuff. He was the one who had... It's a, a germophobia. It's a germophobia. He was completely obsessed with it. Total insanity. Um, so, there you have, there, there you have for, the, for your reference... I've, I'm giving you like a few people that literally were doing exactly what I stated to you. Exactly the kind of stuff, or at least have seen it and have even video recorded and stuff so that they could help me out. Alright, so there you have it. Right? Couldn't do better, right? Um, for me, uh, what matters in this case is something completely different. It's... It thought, you know, you could put me, <laughs> you could put me in a fucking room that would be mold dripping down the fucking wall. I wouldn't care. I would care less. The person that is in situation toxic job wise, uh, that is in a situation like my situation was uh, has one fucking priority and that's basically to get a fucking job and get the fuck out go on his own and not leave off his mother cooking and when i say mother cooking that's when you go to all the local employers just so they bully you in a face so just they, they make the they ridicule your employment, your start of employment. They only exist basically to take advantage of you, to destroy you, to rip you apart. You don't want that kind of mother cooking. You don't want that kind of uh, somebody telling you that is paying your bills and uh, cooking for you and stuff like this. What the fuck you want? Those are the issues you want to resolve first. And it's because of United Nations that those issues were not resolved for 28 years. United Nations was the prime thug that sat on my grave for 28 years. 
They are controlled by the London. 1-800-LONDON cabal, which also poisoned Washington, D.C. American Washington, D.C. White House, American Congress performed crime against me on behalf of Buckingham Palace, on the behalf of British Royals. That's the shit you don't want anywhere near your fucking life. That's the evil. That's a total evil. That's when crime against you, they created, was created for your sake, basically to help you out, and is boosted to the degree for which they alone claim they no longer can resolve one. Or that they no longer will be capable to resolve one if you will point at them and demand uh, the cancer, a broken spine, a police crime, ongoing police crime against you, psychiatric crime. They paid, financed, promoted at European Court for Human Rights, at, Interna at Interpol, International Police Association, for you to take as a form of help teach you, brainwash you that a crime that's going to be performed against you, all you got to do is record, record, and you go. You go. You flush the toilet, and that's how your life is. 28 years of my life, that's how it went down. You understand? <laughs> so this is the way it goes. This is how this stuff here with the cleaning, specifically with the cleanliness, with the cleaning one, Talk to me about the fucking bills they pay to the police for the special protection of these men. That fucking police in Slovenia had an easy job. They only had to cover 20, 30 kilometer perimeter around the fucking house. I was like fucking like this, man, for 20 fucking eight years. The only time I actually fucking place was as my mother was making fun out of it. When I ran for political asylum even to the fucking Russia. That's the only fucking place, the only fucking time. They had an easy fucking job to murder. That was no protection, that was a murder, that was a kill.